Hi, my name is Becky, and today I'm going to ask two tattoo artists to draw my dream tattoo. Let's see what they come up with. Hey, what's up? My name is Taka Tamara. I'm a tattoo artist from Los Angeles, California. Well, my tattooing style is more like a neo-traditional Japanese. I'm from Japan, so I'm strong in that. My name is Jose Herrera. I'm a tattoo artist from Long Beach, California. I'm doing like a... Uh... American traditional with a little bit of neo-traditional influence, like very illustrative style. I'm pretty confident that I can give her something that she's looking for. Decently confident. I feel like uh, I'm going to make do with the time that we're given and just make whatever I can appropriately. We'll see what she wants. I feel okay. I have a lot of tattoos. And I don't think my idea is that hard. I just don't know how to conceptualize it. That's what I need them for. There's this musician named Dave Haas, who is kind of punk rock royalty in my opinion. He taps this part of Americana, this like lower middle class piece of people who are kind of marginalized in a weird way and they don't really get their voice and they often struggle with imposter syndrome when they finally do grow up and get a job. And that's been really important for me because I grew up in a lower middle class family and now I am an attorney. Some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, you're still that kid who's always in like dirty dickies and hasn't brushed her hair in three days. It's been really valuable to me to see like someone else go through that and speak about it. The line that I really want to focus on is, and I learned to wash the dirt off in the rain. Yeah, I'm always going to be the dirty kid and I may not wash it off in the traditional way. And like sometimes that's going to be dancing in the rain with like my friends or my dog and kind of really embracing that piece of who I've been my whole life, even now in this current role. Well, we're gonna put that. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I know it's gonna be a real tattoo, <laughs> yeah, no. but we're gonna put it. I mean, it um, depends on what the. The size idea is would probably be either like the back of my right calf mm -hmm. or somewhere on my left thigh. Okay. I like the idea of a graveyard because the idea of like washing the dirt off with the rain coming up from a grave would theoretically make a skeleton dirty. I've been thinking about this lyric since the album came out last year, and I have not been able to figure out how to put it together. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> So we're gonna draw in this. Get right? at it, yeah. Yeah, let's gonna do this, huh? Yeah. So I gotta keep my mind. Uh, she wants to do a some more Americana style of a tattoo, so I wanna keep that in my mind while I draw. And yeah, just make sure it's appropriate to what she wants, like a sort of dancing skeleton with a sort of graveyard scene, and just make sure to incorporate the lyrics that she finds really dear to her heart. <laughs> it's pretty unique, you know. The uh, idea itself, it's just very personal, so you kind of have to cater to like making sure you catch all the bits that the person likes, you know. So in the beginning, you just draw the, uh, basically it's just the idea, you know, on the bottom. I have to kind of just play with it a little bit, so with the lighter pencil, I always kind of lay out like what a foundation for the drawing. And then, you know, what I like and what I don't like starts to like come to the surface and I can still make pretty drastic changes. Doing all right, you know, yeah. it's kind of getting there. It's getting there, yeah. That'll be something. I think it's gonna be cool. I'm yeah. having fun for sure. Definitely, it's a good challenge. It's like working, but not at work. It takes time, yeah, because you know, it's something that lasts forever. We don't, yeah. you know, just yeah. draw and just stick it on. The more you know, the farther you are, and there's so much to learn. There's no like stopping point. Yeah. You just kind of just keep going. One of the coolest things about it is people are so different and so diverse. You can get inspired by all kinds of different stuff, no matter what style they do, you know? <laughs> this is mine. I don't know how it turned out. No, I love the composition. And it looks final, unlike mine. <laughs> Dude, yours is great, man. Look at that. I like your graveyard better than mine. It's more subtle. Man, I wish I could draw like this. Now we'll bring Becky back in to see what she likes best. This is an idea that I think will be fit good on your uh, um, back of your calf. Yeah, that's, you know like, I mean? that's a really good composition because it fits the length there and like width-wise, it's really pretty. And, and then once it's yeah. um, 
uh, shaded. It's gonna have the uh, those uh, Americana feel yeah, to that, type, yeah. you know, the design. Uh, here's mine, of course, kind of oh. rough. Oh no, but you know. see, like this is so interesting because this is like really good for calf, but this like fits like the thigh really, really well. So that is really well composed for that. And I actually, I really like the less subtle graveyard because. Look at me, I'm not a very subtle person. True. The composition of what you guys took from me is really fascinating, because this one fits so well on the back of the calf, and this one would be so good on the thigh, like especially like the like meat right there on the haunches. This would look so good. I think I would probably pick this one, but that's because I really like the kind of graveyard and the symbolism within that, and the skeleton is kind of something that I'm bringing into that part of it. And this one got the lyrics in there, which was really important to me because I want to make sure that when I show it to Dave, he knows that like this is how he has made this effect on my life. These are both so amazing. Anyone would be so lucky to get tattooed by you guys. If any of you have the opportunity to do it, do it. You're going to be in good hands. I would be lucky to have either of these on my body.